fourth time is the charm. After major delays, NASA's Artemis rocket blasted into space overnight. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the high stakes mission will send the Artemis rocket to the moon as NASA tries to establish a sustainable human presence there by the end of the decade. ABC 7 News reporter Ryan Curry is in the newsroom now. And Ryan, you just spoke with NASA about this mission. Yeah, good morning, Reggie. Such a cool moment for them as they once again start a project designed to put humans back on the moon after that historic Apollo mission back in the late 60s, early 70s. Here it is again, the launch of the Artemis 1 rocket from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It took off in the early hours of the morning on the East Coast, which was just before midnight here out west. This rocket is not manned by an astronaut team, only a mannequin is on board. A capsule will go around the moon and before and back before it lands here on Earth in just a few weeks. Now, moments ago, as mentioned, I did speak with an astronaut at NASA who told me this program is very different than that Apollo mission. She said NASA is using new technologies and plans to go to new places on the moon for more research. She says this launch was a beautiful moment to witness. Seeing that takeoff, that launch was truly magnificent. It was a totally different magnitude than any type of launch I've ever seen because the thrust is so much higher. So you are looking at this rocket plume. It was so bright, so loud, so intense. You could feel the vibrations throughout all of your body. It was really quite an experience, and I'm so excited that I didn't miss it. I love the enthusiasm coming from NASA this morning. Muir also mentioned that they hope to connect, collect enough data that will help NASA plan for future missions. Artemis 1 was delayed several times due to weather and issues on the launch pad, but now it is on its way to the moon. And earlier, Vice President Kamala Harris tweeted congratulations to NASA and our private sector and international partners on the launch of Artemis 1 today. America is charting a path back to the moon. This is a landmark moment for our nation and our world. Now, the next Artemis mission, which is designed to take about four astronauts to the moon, is not expected to begin until 2024 at the earliest. Now, Mir says they hope to collect enough data from this mission that will hopefully give NASA more information about what it takes to one day send humans to Mars. Very exciting. In the newsroom, Ryan Curry, ABC 7 News.